I'm Luke with Arrowhead Rifles. Today I'm going to run through a quick overview of our Arrowhead muzzleloader, what comes with the gun when you receive it, a few tri tips and tricks for usage, and just a general overview. So when you receive your Arrowhead muzzleloader, there's quite a few things that come with it. The first thing is, is a, a sizing die with a hand press. So when I test fire these guns, I set the sizing die to match your barrel to be used with the Arrowhead XLD bullets in 300 grain. If there's another bullet, you'd, Arrowhead bullet you'd rather shoot, perhaps a different weight, uh, maybe a 275 grain, or if you're going with a big gun, we can look at a 325 grain, we can set it up with that bullet as well. There's also 15 of our bullets included. The bullets are not sized yet. Like I said, the die is set, but the bullets haven't been sized yet. You also receive some powder storage vials. Uh, in this case, these are seven milliliter. Those are what I send with the guns for the customers that are gonna shoot smokeless powder. For the Blackhorn 209 shooters, I'll send 10 milliliter vials, as those will hold plenty of, they, they leave a lot of capacity for the bigger charges of Blackhorn 209. You also receive a funnel for loading through the brake, 25 of our primer modules, a D-prime station for D-priming the modules, a half inch thin wall socket for removing the breech plug, a thread protector for if you ever decide to hunt without the brake or if you have the brake off to clean the firearm, put this on so the muzzle threads don't get damaged. I'll also include a load sheet with recommended loads for your firearm so you're not guessing what to shoot through it. Uh, for the guys who intend to shoot smokeless, the recommended charge is a 300 grain bullet with a velocity of 2800 feet per second. For the Blackhorn 209 shooters, there's a little bit of variation lot to lot with the Blackhorn 209, so you'll see a, some velocity variation but the recommended charge generally ends up in the 2,500 to 2,600 feet per second range with Blackhorn 209. Things that aren't included, powder and primers, those require hazmat certification for shipping and my company isn't registered to do that. Generally, the powders we recommend are available at your local sporting goods store or through mail order through companies like Midway, Cabela's, Powder Valley, places like those. I don't include a powder scale uh, because the majority of my customers already have that with their reloading equipment. This is a good time to mention that all charges for this gun must be weighed, whether it's smokeless or Blackhorn 209. Volumetric weighing doesn't work with smokeless, and with Blackhorn 209, the, the density is too inconsistent and you'll end up with charge weight variation which is very detrimental to accuracy. So you want to weigh all of your charges through this firearm. I also don't include a hand primer which is this thing over here for priming the modules. Uh, it's available for purchase through the website but once again a lot of my customers already have these uh, because they reload. The case head size on the modules is 308. So generally, if you have reloading equipment, you already have the uh, shell holders required to prime those modules. You can either do an attached ramrod like this gun has, or if you like the cleaner look of no ramrod, uh, you can go with one of our three-piece ramrods that snap together like that when you remove them from the pouch. Accuracy-wise, there's no difference. Our muzzlers have a free-floating ramrod system. So the ramrod doesn't contact the barrel at all in the stock. There's a you know little contact out here, but it's very light, not enough to influence the point of impact with or without the ramrod installed. So if, if you're in a rush out hunting and forget to put the ramrod back in, it's not gonna change your point of impact. Now I do recommend to always get the ramrod back in the gun before you shoot, because a lot of times when you forget to put it back in, the spot you forgot it is in the barrel. And obviously that's uh, very detrimental to the barrel. So always, if you're going with the attached ramrod, always make sure it's back in the stock before you fire the firearm. Loading modules, the bolts open like that. I install a bolt stop here so the bolt head stops in the loading port. To load the modules, you just reach in there like that and hook the modules right in the bolt face. And the bolt closes like that. For extraction, bolt lifts up, 
This module hasn't been fired, so it's a little sticky there. You need to pop the bolt a little bit so it extracts. Reach in and grab it. The modules are reusable. With smokeless loads, you'll get 15 plus reuses out of a module. For Blackhorn 209, you should get in excess of 30 shots per module. If you're shooting with Blackhorn 209, you don't want, you definitely don't want to put the modules away dirty. Uh, for a long time, the Blackhorn 209 residue is corrosive, so make sure you soak, soak the modules in a Blackhorn 209 solvent like Hoppy's Number no. 9 or uh, other readily available solvents to get that residue off there. If you don't do that, when you go to pull the modules out of storage, they'll be corroded. The D prime station, which is included, the modules are just once they've been fired, you set the modules right there, there, and a little hammer or wrench, whatever, it doesn't take much. You just tap, tap the, uh, the spent module out and then it's ready to reprime. Breech plug removal is done with this half inch thin wall socket. Uh, really, there's no cleaning required on the breech plug since all of the flame channel is contained within the module. When, every time you fire and remove the module, this essentially self-cleans the breech plug. I do like to remove the breech plug every 75 to 100 shots and put a light coating of anisees on the plug just to make sure it doesn't get stuck in place. The uh, torque recommendation for the breech plug is 50 to 75 inch pounds. You don't need to get carried away with the over torquing the plug. The other thing with the Arrowhead muzzleloader is it's not a cookie cutter design. It's fully customizable. In this case, the customer wanted a Night Force scope, and when you purchase an optic through us, we'll sight it in with the scope you purchased so the gun will come zeroed with your scope on it. Of course, you should definitely test fire the gun yourself before you go hunting because how the gun shoots off of your shoulder compared to mine could be totally different, but it will be within an inch or two of zero at 100 yards. We're dealers for Night Force, Swarovski, Vortex, Leupold, and basically any other optics company out there that you, that you might be interested in putting on your muzzleloader. This particular muzzleloader has a couple other upgrades that the customer wanted. He wanted the spiral fluting, uh, the five port tack style brake instead of the radial brake, and then he also went with the stainless steel scope base. Uh, the other feature, our guns all come with the Trigger Tech primary trigger a standard which is an excellent hunting trigger can be set in the two to three pound range very smooth crisp trigger pull this customer decided to upgrade to the trigger tech diamond which is really as good as it gets for a trigger but like i said the uh, the whole package is called fully customizable so we can tailor a, a muzzle loader that fits your personality and your hunting needs Thanks for watching this overview on the Arrowhead muzzleloader. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and drop me a line. Be more than happy to answer them. This is a muzzleloader that comes ready to shoot out to 500 yards or farther right out of the box with very little maintenance and very repeatable accuracy. More information can be found on my website, www.arrowheadrifles.com. Also, for more pictures and information, give us a follow on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram under the username Arrowhead Rifles. Thanks again for watching.